car at the scene of where my best friend Michelle's body was found. Michelle was found floating face down. This was a crime of emotion, of violence. 26 steps. Oh my gosh, they arrested Leo for Michelle's death. You don't think he did it, do you? I knew then the same thing I know now. Leo's an innocent man. What the state said is not lining up, and what he's saying lines up exactly. Who actually came to a major discovery. There was fingerprints found in the car. These fingerprints have never been identified. Now you have a literal smoking gun. You couldn't ask for more. If you didn't kill your wife, Michelle, who did? I didn't mean to kill Michelle Scorpio. I never, ever thought that this would be my story and my life. I had graduated from University of Florida with a bachelor's in sociology. A couple years later, I went to work as a state probation officer. I went from traveling, doing things, friends, to now spending my weekends in prison. That was not something that I had planned, but here it is, and it's my life. And I realized just now, today is our 31st anniversary for when we met. Like if I tell him I'm gonna be there about 10.30, and if I'm not there, he'll start to get worried and start pacing and get really nervous and then try to reach me on the phone. Okay, well, let me hang up, because I'm turning in. All right, love you. All right, bye. Chrissy Carter uh, Schofield. I'm married to Leo Schofield. My husband did not kill his first wife. I absolutely 100% know that because I know him and I've looked at the case. It's impossible. Take me back to when you first met Leo. I was 31. He was 25. I was a teacher at the college in the prison, and Leo was an inmate. He was assigned to me as my aide to help facilitate the class and make sure I was safe. I saw Chrissy for the first time. She was 31 years old, and she was absolutely stunning. Tell me about the impact Chrissy has had on you. Chrissy helped me become a man. She believes in me. She supports me. And she allows me and taught me how to support her. Our relationship progressed from a uh, coworker, so to speak, to more personal information. And then I started asking a little bit more questions about his case. At one point, you know, there's that uncomfortable topic of like, why are you here? And Leo says, I was convicted of killing my wife. I'm an innocent man. Did you believe him right away? No, I didn't, but I did not believe him. You didn't think that he was a guy who seemed like he'd be capable of murdering his wife? No. Somewhere along the way, maybe three, four months into this, I went to the courthouse. And I started looking and researching. She becomes a great researcher and great investigator. She really starts getting documents and starts reading through the case. And then I'm like, what the state said is not lining up. And what he's saying lines up exactly. I'm like, OK, yeah, yeah, he's innocent. And where does it go from you maybe being a crusader and a good friend to saying, I actually like, like this him. guy? <laughs> Yeah, um, maybe it was about seven months, eight months into it where I said, oh, I like him. <laughs> she said, I met someone. And I said, well, who is he? And she said, well, he's a prisoner. So my friend Cinda worked at the sheriff's office at the time. I said, okay, well, my next question is, well, what is he in for? 
and she said, murder. And I said, who? And she goes, his wife. And I said, you're crazy. So you eventually marry Leo. How did that come about? The drive for me was, what if something happens? I don't want to put off what I feel in my heart to do. Inmates will play games with girls. They'll make up some story. I was not going to do that with her, so I, I just laid it all out on the line for her. Asked her to marry me in our fourth year. That's a decision I will never ever regret. We got married in a little chapel in the prison. He played guitar and sang some songs afterwards. It was very, very romantic in a, the weirdest kind of way. But then when I leave the prison, it was so sad because that's not how it's supposed to be. But that's what it was. This is a beautiful love story. It's also an extremely unlikely love story. But, you know, it was, it, it was meant to be, as it turns out, in more ways than one. Years pass, you and Leo are living this very unconventional life, and then something extraordinary happens. There was this big pregnant girl that came to visit <laughs> the prison. And she gets the story that um, she wasn't going to be able to care for this new child uh, about to be born. We knew instantly that Ashley was our baby, and we eventually had an open adoption. Within just days after Ashley was born, Leo held her in his arms. That was the first time he held me as four days old. When I would cry, he would come and get me and I would just stop crying as soon as he had told me. <laughs> How has Ashley changed your life? Being a dad of a daughter is another difficult thing. It's exponentially more difficult from in prison. But what Ashley brings is the reason for hope and living and a future. These aren't your typical family albums, oh, but they're no. still beautiful and filled with so much love. They're just in a setting that most people can't imagine. Yep. You want more than pictures, though. Yes. You want real memories. Yep. I'm going to feel and touch and see, and that's what I'm waiting for. Having my head wrapped around the fact that people think he's a murderer is confusing. Because if you look at the facts, if you look at the story, it doesn't add up. It's tough for me because I want us to be together and I want this to be over. At this point, Chrissy is raising a small child alone, but is completely obsessed with Leo's case. She does everything she can to investigate it on her own. She doesn't give up. And there's one piece of physical evidence that she can't stop thinking about. Throughout all these appeals, there was one thing. There was fingerprints found in the car. These fingerprints have never been identified, and that becomes her focus. Whoever's fingerprints in that car had to know something. We've got to figure out who that person is. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.